making a video, and just watching some stupid fuck on the internet, as usual, babbling on about some crap, obviously, it's going to be a terrible video, I know I'm going to be in for it, it's a user by the name of Gabiota, or Gabiata, some sort of British cunt, and he's going to act like a cunt, he's going to demean the argument, and right now I can basically call it, I can confirm it now, the dude is probably one of those d fake DNA worshipping atheists who is a huge phantasmagorical and insists of everyone that they love life and that they cherish it and all of this bullshit. This is gonna get fucking stupid, I just know it, but I'm gonna play it anyway. Whoa, okay, here we go. Fancy nationalism. Uh, no. <sighs> but fuck it, I'm going to. Now, since this fucking ridiculous little meme started popping up on my inbox from the atheist YouTube community, I've considered it to be a number of things. I've considered it to be the, um, the sleeve notes from a appalling 1980s rock album. Oh, the appalling. Oh, the sleeve notes. Yes, it's so tragic and depressing. Uh, yes, it's just a, it's such a, it's such a boring reality. Yes, just like we were in Leeds in the 80s with our, with our methadone clinics. We just all used to think that there was no point in living, and that's what I see as really being conveyed here with the antinatalism. Yeah, go fuck yourself, you retarded piece of shit. There's something called a fucking logical argument. You're obviously not seeing it. You refuse to see it. Having been challenged to change your belief system, you're clearly falling flat in your, your intellectual responsibility to actually consider this position, which I consider to be the most important philosophical, let alone any uh, discussion, worth having on the internet. This is probably, out of any discussion worth having on the internet, like I said, this is going to be, this is the most important one, and for you to dismiss it out of hand like that, like a retard, is just that, retarded. Fuck you. Oh. Oh, self-indulgent, yes, because we we know we, we we love indulging ourselves in other people's stupidity. We love talking about how other people are retarded and how they are scourge upon humanity, and that we should all fucking die and and all of that. Yeah, fuck you, you fucking ignorant asshole. It's obviously about the suffering and the value argument. It's not about st simply making trouble on the internet. Okay, so you're going to reduce it to poetry? I don't even see what that is. That's not a clearly articulated argument, and you, I'm, I would say you could do better, but having seen the first 45 seconds of this fail-ass video, I'm going to assume that's not the case. Oh, Abrahamic death cult. So again, you're going to fall back into the stupidest fucking delusion. Uh, of basically the, of, of some sort of coherent response to antinatalism. You're going to sit back and insist that antinatalists wish to, what, they wish to kill everybody? They wish to genocide the entire population? I don't fucking think so. If you had any idea what the suffering we've uh, antinatalists have been talking about is really about, you'd know that going about that would probably cause a lot more suffering than eliminating suffering. I don't see that. I don't see wiping out the entire human race as feasible at all. And I don't see that as anywhere linked to antinatalism. The fucking key word is natalism, meaning fucking having children. It's not genocide to not produce a baby. It's simply 
the softest way, the most harmless way of achieving reductions in suffering in our society. Nothing else will stop the prolonging of unnecessary suffering other than not reproducing, not nailing. So, fuck you. Immensely boring. Oh, immensely boring. What are you like? You sound like a fucking rip off. You sound like a, uh, a five cent, no, 99 cent ver store version of fucking Coughlin or something. Like, you are just the ponti most pontificating ass British stupid cunt. You just, you have the right to call things boring. Well, if, for, frankly, if you don't want to talk about it, then you don't have to talk about it, you stupid shit. And you should better leave the fucking subject alone because you can't fucking add anything to it, you retarded cunt. Fuck you. So, considering... That, that's why I thought it was I've completely ignored it. But you know, these things tend to spread and grow. And people who you have respect for... Oh, these things. Yeah, like fucking, like, rationally developed arguments. Yes. Things and cultural memes, intellectual memes, these things do tend to propagate. Especially given the fact that antinatalism hasn't been refuted. You know, one of the great things I've seen on YouTube has been the proliferation of the antinatalism argument. In fact, all I think it needed was... Uh, a word to couch this argument in, uh, inside. Or if it's not antinatalism, then ethylism, or whatever you 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 you, you want to go with. Basically, the spirit of uh, honoring uh, fidelity to the value equation and suffer uh, acknowledgement of suffering, acknowledgement of all of these things. There's no dogma involved. It's basically objectively looking at positive uh so-called positive experiences and also the dis uh, the ones that you can point to and say that those are definitely negative experiences and would we have better been better off not to have been have been introduced into a world where we have the possibility of a negative experience outweighing so-called positive experience if you want to even couch it in those terms i don't see there being any sort of po positive experience merely only the fulfillment of a deprivation and that's something we can talk about too but i'm sure that's beyond your fucking ability to understand so I'll save that for another video um, have, have people who I have respect for have come out on both sides of this argument some of them disappointed me awfully and some of them impressed me greatly oh right because the ones who fucking agree with you they impress you greatly but the ones that dis disagree and say, hey, wow, life is shit, suck my dick, you're a fucking idiot, pr life prolonger, stop imposing on, on us, you asshole. Yeah, that kind of has struck a, a nerve with you, huh? Has that, has that gotten you a bit, you know, I don't know. Has, it, has that shook you to your core? I don't believe it has. I think you've just merely glossed over it and said, oh, well, these people must be deluded. Uh, they're clearly bought into the subject of antinatalism, therefore I can no longer be associated with them or whatever. This just dis this just this just betrays your fucking closed-mindedness, unwillingness to accept the subject, unwilling, and you d also d betrays your basic lack of knowledge of anything. So I mean, there's still five minutes of this piece of shit left, but you haven't really even explained why you fucking don't agree with antinatalism. I real I will just let this video play until you really develop any kind of cogent response. I, I want to let this video play until you actually make a response to antinatalism. And also, there's been a, a gathering of um, those particularly annoying, shouty little fucking disposable channel trolls. Uh, so are you... Um... Are you making a reference? Who are you making a reference to? Are you making a reference to Gary because he shouts a lot? Are you calling him a troll or something? Is that because you can't think of any argu real or rational argument to dismiss him? I'm still waiting for you to come up with a response to antinatalism. You still keep keep going on with this dirty drama bullshit, and I'm not I'm not liking this so far. This has been a total waste of my time. Always fucking seem to really glom on to anything which is slightly dangerous or weird or fucking, you know what I mean? Just they're just like imaginative, completely lacking in imagination. 
The idea of mothers being rapists. Where the fuck did you get that idea, you fucking weird black and white little man? Where did that fucking enter your consciousness as somehow uh, a rational tenant of antinatalism? That sounds like a lot of overblown blown out of your ass, goddamn straw man crapola that I see in a fucking public toilet. You're no better than that. You are human shit. On account of the disposable channels and the all of that shit, most of the worst excesses um, can be disavowed. Although some of them hang around, and I'm sure, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Oh, some of the worst excesses. So now I, it seems like you're clearly talking about, about Gary. And so, again, you're not going to have any answer. You're just going to make a stupid, off-the-cuff, like, you know, remark about somebody, the character of somebody, about the quality of somebody's character character or some fucking shit as if that's a way to fucking dismiss the argument not only that but i have a thousand ten thousand times more respect for gary as a person than i ever will for your stupid ass so you're obviously not winning any credibility at all for somebody who actually uh has watched a gary video and says huh this guy is a, a very like i guess he's a you know, he, I actually see him as a sensitive person, someone who's very empathetic, somebody who's really bogged down by the weight of suffering in the world. That's what I see as a real, a real decent human being, somebody who, like, gives a shit about the big picture, about really eliminating suffering. And though he may be coarse around the edges when having to deal with fucking stupid-ass people like you, he's actually a nice person. Offended me as a human being. Offended me. Uh, my, the, the offended you. <laughs> my existence. Oh, it, it offended my existence. Ah, well, what are we going to do about that? Yeah, I mean, you want to, you, your fucking panties are show, are showing, you stupid ass. I mean, you're offended, therefore, everybody needs to reject antinatalism in, in pronto. Yeah, wow. Continuing with the stupidest line of discourse that has been uttered by humans in a very long time. My daughter, you know what I mean? I am a daughter. So you're butthurt about you because you had children and now you feel insulted. When you had children, I'm sure you did it for retarded reasons. Reasons that you're probably still clinging on to. Um, I'm guessing that you've had children relatively recently, so you probably still hang on to those beliefs. You probably think those beliefs are probably true. Like, oh, I had children because you know, I, I feel very strongly about having a copy of myself or... I feel very strongly about developing my child's character and molding it so I can be, make this person um, the, the person that I always wanted to be so I can have this, put the weight of all of my responsibilities onto this child. Yeah, wow. Do you realize how dumb all of those fucking stupid reasons are? There's absolutely no objectively good reason to bring a child into this world, even even if it's into, like, rich or good, well-off circumstances because there's still the... Um, the possibility that the person will and not be satisfied by that will be wondering why you fucking did this shit, why you made the, the mistake of imposing the fucking life onto this fucking um, genetic sort of creation, fucking experiment of yours. People are not going to be satisfied merely just because if you think you can brainwash them enough. You fucking nut. 
<laughs> Jolly good. And the, they they claim that it's about um, the uh, imbalance in suffering, asymmetry of existence, saying that there's more suffering than there is pleasure, and so suffering is invalid. And that is a completely subjective thing that you cannot say. Not mostly. I, it's a completely subjective thing. Yeah, wow, have we not been over this 3,001 times, you fucking moron. Okay, if the cat fucking experiences, if the cat in some distant planet is, like, that has his legs sm sh shattered and it is because a tree has fallen on the, the cat, is that not objectively bad for the you would would you not say that that circumstance is objectively bad? Would you not would you not say that people from uh, suffering and dying from AIDS is objectively bad? I, I'm saying I mean that's a pretty obvious circumstance as well. This whole subjective crap and saying that one man's pleasure is another man's pain is so retarded, and it obviously ignores the not human animal aspect of that, which um, basically magnifi magnifies that all, all like th this whole argument a trillion fold because there are all of these non-sentient animals that we also have to account for in this suffering mechanism. Those, those animal, those, these creatures, though they're, they don't have human intelligence, they still have sentience and they still have the capacity to be harmed. Most of the time they are in experiencing uh, negative states of being and they, pr and if they probably had the requisite amount of consciousness in explaining, they would have said, oh, wow, this is pretty stupid. If you remove the DNA desires, which you're still grasping onto is the stupid DNA desires. You just think, oh, well, DNA makes it so that when I jerk off, it's pleasurable, and therefore you can't deny me, like, that my, my pleasures and my jollies, and I'm saying, yeah, I fucking can, especially when your, your, like, search for positive experiences is going to, uh, inter is going to fucking... Inter interact with my fucking ability to actually like lead my life or not only maybe not me but the, another fucking human being like a my coal Chinese coal miner or some shit the, the fact is being on this planet is inevitably causing suffering and there and there and though there may be people who are deluded into thinking that oh my life has been just grand at the end of their existence is that what we're really um fucking on this planet for you don't account for the fact that life is shit you don't account for the fact that there's nothing here to do there's nothing to accomplish we've already done everything as a human race that we fucking want, very much wanted to we've had sex in every position so why not just end the experiment right fucking now you dumb ass. Shit. You, people on the so on, on, who come out on the side of antilatalism seem to me <sighs> depressed in some way or another or unhappy with your lives. Oh yes, okay, so now we're going to just make another stupid, stupid, inane remark that, oh, everybody who believes in antinatalism is depressed. Well, I mean, is, it, is that really the case or is it that people have uh, the people who have accepted antinatalism really see that this shit has really uh, on its on in, at, at the end of the day it really doesn't add up to much that people's effort can only like really be spent you know cleaning up messes and that there's really nothing to really accomplish uh, in the in the grand scheme of things that 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 may tend to make one depressed compared to uh, a retard who just sits around thinking that fucking God is going to solve the problems or thinking around, sitting around thinking that the D, we should all worship the DNA molecule, that it knows what it's doing and that it decides to impose on us, that we should do that? I don't fucking think so. So you're not in the position of the judge, but I'm sure that, 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 that you're not interested. Oh, you're not the judge. Yes, well, I mean, the point is that you, when reproduction, you, 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 can, you may consider it a right, but it doesn't necessarily, I mean, you don't, it doesn't necessarily, it is not, it's not prescribed to you by anybody. It is no, it's not given to you by anyone. Society hasn't bestowed it upon you. It's only because of a biological circumstance that you're able to procreate. With a female, you're able to exper uh, experiment 
and you create an, and gamble with another person's welfare and fucking start this whole chain of disastrous things uh, into uh, set it set these whole this train of events in, in, in chain of events in motion. And that's basically what you're saying that you have the right to do. I'm arguing that in a democratic society, we should be able to curtail behavior like that because it's destructive if we see it as more ethically or, um, you know, basically logically bankrupt, as I am trying to articulate now, and I think I've done a pretty good job of it. Once we've decided that, then yes, we are okay in taking away, quote-unquote, people's quote-unquote life the right to reproduction and that you yeah saying like you can't gamble with somebody else's welfare just like you can't fucking drink and drive on the fucking street you're a piece of shit so yeah yeah fuck you and admit to yourselves that's how you feel admit oh but, yes but that, if that's what you claim that it's about that but as there is absolutely no real world application to these ideas no real world application the whole thing is a fucking real world application the what do you think we're applying this to some sort of hypothetical circumstance i'm saying add up somebody's fucking welfare add up a non non human animal or a human animal there it's most of the time if you look at it the fucking you add up the negative and positive experiences it's going to i, I my contention is that it most of the time it would stack up negative especially in the non human animal realm and i'm saying even if it, it does somehow end up quote unquote positive for that person it's I'm, i would argue that it's just a delusion based on the dna molecule not only that i would also argue that you still have no right to gamble with somebody else's welfare because there's still an off chance that you will create massive amounts of suffering if you end up with a, an offspring that says why the fuck did you bring me in here to this stupid ass world with its petty little resources its destructive fucking capitalism and its oppression of fucking the, the third and fourth world to justify our existence our continued uh, 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 well-off existence so we can have air-conditioned and heating housing facilities have unlimited food and water and all and all of the you know creature comforts that we desire so we can have all of that shit so i, I want to bring somebody into this world knowing that 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 some that they're they're going to be raised literally basically on the backs of chinese coal miners that and and, and all of those are reasons why the imposition, the the gambling with somebody else's welfare, the fact the the fact that it's going to usually add up to a negative, and the fact that having children is also placing suffering upon the developing world. You're replacing the suffering of the first world with the basically the exploitation of the third world. Things you're saying could ever come into come to pass as a reality. Do you know what I mean? Because the people you'll have to convince are fucking shit poor rural subsistence farmers. Who oh yes, well, the same could be said of atheism. The same could be said of democracy. The same thing could be said of any ideal to which we aspire. You're on the internet ostensibly. I haven't seen any of your other videos, but I'm basically pretty sure that. You were on the internet probably to make fun of non-atheists or to convert atheists or something like that with your references to the uh, quote-unquote, what is it, the atheist community. So being involved in the atheist community, you're also being in, in, involved with con trying to convince people and change people's mindset. So if you really think that it's impossible to convert people and to, get, and to try to achieve any kind of change through YouTube, then just stop making videos. Obviously, you're not going to do that, so that proves my point. You think there is a me there is value in this medium of communication. Hopefully, I can change your fucking mind so you can stop with this drivel and you can actually make some productive conversations. So, in a perverted way, I'm actually doing this to help you. I'm going to be interested in your because 
Yeah, are they going to be interested in atheism either? I don't fucking think so. They're going to be like, no, nah, the sun god says so or whatever. So there's a conversion process. You have to start simple. You have to, exp you have to, you have to, yeah, go through the entire deconversion process. You have to say, like, look, the you have to start by dis like debating people's currently held beliefs. You have to find a way to convince people that their beliefs are illogical. And then you have to move on to atheism and explaining that your belief that there is not a god is more credible slash more logical slash whatever. And if the person decides to accept that, then you can move on to antinatalism. And then it's pretty hard, it's pretty easy to go from atheist and uh, to and then uh, once somebody's already atheist, pretty easy for him or her to accept antinatalism. I found compared to Christians because Christians are more brainwashed or whatever. They're just going to be like, well, the Holy Spirit, blah blah, some shit about that. So you have to. De there is a whole process. You're you're bastardizing the process. You're saying that there's that there because that there's some sort of lack of established process or something, and or that the process won't work. And I'm saying you're full of shit. If that if that were actually the case, then you should stop making YouTube videos. Fucker. That is, is, they're not educated to a level to understand it. Ugh. The mass of humanity will never be educated to a level to even really understand what you're saying. Again, you know, what I said earlier. Don't agree with it or disagree with it or give con informed consent. So, and you must know that. So, okay, there's no informed consent involved. All it is is stop having fucking babies. It's not. It's not any more more complicated than that. There's no procedure that needs to be done. We don't have to give vasectomies to everyone. We don't have to do forced sterilization. We don't have to do population control. We don't have to do any of that stupid shit. If we can just convince people that it's probably better never to have been, and that they should not impose life, and that it's probably a really bad idea to do so. I think that's that idea is spreading, that you're a fucking, you're going to be caught on the wrong side of history, and you're pretty much shown your true colors, you've shown your panties, and I don't, yeah, I really don't want to see any more, but I have to. I feel like I have to finish your video. And I've come to the conclusion that it's about your own self-importance and you liking the sound of your own voices and your inability to stop fucking whining. Yeah, not fucking whining. I've, have I whined once in this entire video? It, that as the, these things cannot come to pass, and if any of you have even the last rational bone left in your body, you'll realise that, and I'm sure you know that. And it's just a game you're playing on the internet. Actually, if you cared about the allevi alleviating suffering at all, what you'll do is get out from up, out from under your fucking sofa blankets and fucking go out into the real world and try and help some people. Yeah, so you're basically saying, why don't you go clean up some messes? And I'm saying, what's the point of cleaning up messes? Because the whole po why not? Wouldn't it be better to educate people to stop making a mess? And that if we didn't have fucking people in this fucking world, there wouldn't be any messes to clean up. And that I'm not some sort of fucking housekeeper for you. And I don't deserve to do all this stupid fucking shit. Uh, you're ordering me to basically go clean the house. While you what? While you pontificate on YouTube. While you sit on your fucking sofa making stupid fucking videos. Fuck you. Or you'll become activists in the change in global inequality. Or you'd fucking do a fucking fun job. You don't know me, jackass. You don't know what I fucking do. Alright, so don't generalize about my activism or lack thereof, okay? I'm not gonna go into what sort of activities I participate in, but I don't think it's any of your goddamn business either. But just let it be known that there are people who are doing shit in the real world uh, other than you. I don't think you're really even doing anything in the real world. So fuck you. Or sit in a bathtub or fucking bake beans and raise some money for children in fucking need. Do you know what I'm saying? 
Oh yes. So okay, that's anti-natalism for you. What's so if you were to ask, what's anti-natalism? Anti-natalism is just a pe- a bunch of people on YouTube who just like to hear the sound of their own voices. That's anti-natalism. Ha! Huh. Perfect. Well, Grant, I think that just about sums it up, doesn't it? Yeah, not in the slightest, you jackass. Another fucking generalization. Another piece of shit thing to say. Go fuck yourself. And you're fucking... Mind-numbingly fucking... Oh, whining. Just whining. Yeah, I'm so fucking all... Oh, no. You've got no idea what it's like to be someone else other than yourself. Absolutely no idea. You can't even really hazard a guess what it's like to be me. You don't know. Uh, you don't know, for example, uh, how much suffering has been in my life. I live my life in almost constant pain because I've got arthritis in my hips and my spine and my hands. And my hips. Almost constant pain. Okay, congratulations. Wow. Okay, are you really are you going to try to play the suffering contest, the suffering game? If anything, acknowledging that you're, you're in a constant state of suffering, why can't you see that there are people who are experiencing even 10 million times greater suffering than that? Or the people who also find themselves maybe not in a state of physical pain, but in a state of like mental anguish or whatever. Uh, not to say that those things are necessarily equal, but I'm saying you don't don't go pointing out, don't self righteously go pointing out your own arthritis as some sort of fucking reason why antinatalism shouldn't apply to you. You're basically saying, oh well, I'm suffering all the time and I can still see the bright side of life. <laughs> I'm saying stop deluding yourself. You're prob you're you're probably experiencing a lot more pain than you are. Uh, anything else at, at any given time, my, 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 I, I would hazard a guess, and that your what you posit as positive experiences in your life are really just fulfillments of, of deprivation and caused by your DNA, dumb DNA ass desires. So, this is shit. Uh, you know what I find appalling is having to sit through this fucking video of your bitching. Okay? You, you've accused everyone else of whining and complaining. And I've really wanted to whine and c complain throughout this video, but not about my suffering, about how much your video sucks. I've just wanted to whine endlessly about it, but I don't typically do that. I'm not going to. I'm not a whiner. Not, I don't see a lot of people who really do do whine like in the in the manner that you're describing. But it wouldn't it would be hard it, it's it's hard not to when you have to go through shit like this. Can but you wouldn't understand. Just chiming in, chiming in, chiming in. Just giving you the finger. Well, I think it, I've said what needs to be said already. So, yeah, dumb. Yeah, that's as if that's going to support your position or something. Your argument's been thoroughly th turned inside out and ripped in half and s thrown out to the dogs already. I mean, I shouldn't. There's no point in me even having to respond to this video. You haven't said anything new. This has already been debunked by Gary hundreds of fucking times on the internet already by stupid by people way sm uh, fucking smarter than you. They've fucking tried to roll with this shit, and they've been thoroughly, uh, yeah, they've been had thoroughly. They've been they've been taken to task on all of these arguments that you propose. This the stupid oh yeah objectivity subjective just crap. Okay, you're going through the whole, you know, anti-natalism is, you know, anti-natalists are just da 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 -das. You know, you've gone to the whole kill yourself thing. You've pretty much accomplished all the stupid pro-natalist memes in your fucking video. So congratulations for basically being the most uh, nothing new asshole def life defender shithead. Congratulations. Hey, you stop talking Alleviate some fucking suffering. You boring cunts.
Yeah, well, this is boring, really. I mean, why, why don't you do something? I don't know. We can all just tell our other people to go do something, right? And then that's supposed to get us off from our responsibilities in this life. And I think one of the biggest responsibilities for you, gay Gabiata, is to thoroughly give this argument a recons give this argument a thorough reconsideration, and to please, please use a lot of discretion before opening your mouth on this subject again. So, till next time. Thanks very much. Uh...